On June 29, 2017, Nigeria's Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju, then in acting capacity for the President, formally launched VADES, giving a nine-month period for tax offenders to come into the tax net. The scheme was aimed at attracting more Nigerians into the tax net via voluntary disclosure of previously undisclosed assets and income with a target of generating $1 billion. Yeah, according to the head of the FRS, they had some about 20 billion era. I think some of it is even commitment now that the money had been paid. Now, 20 billion era is very small. It's like a drop in the ocean. Um, a similar scheme happened in Indonesia. They made about $10 billion. Um, Nigerians are not taxpayers um, by nature. And then that's of course because of several reasons which you might also be aware of. The level of compliance in terms of voluntary tax payments are very, very um, low in the various um, um, clients, that is state, local government, and even at the federal government level. Some stakeholders are demanding that the extension of the expiration date be granted, while others noted that if sanctions are not applied, Nigerians will not comply. Absolutely, I think that about three months or six months extension would be good because uh, the letters that were written to the high net worth individuals happened towards the end of the scheme. So we're beginning to see more uh, interest and people asking questions about what do I need to do towards the end of the scheme. The timeline was sufficient enough for anybody who wanted to uh, comply. The key thing is whether the government has the capacity to enforce. Uh, I think that may be what it's lacking, but if they do have the capacity to enforce, I would urge them to be more decisive in enforcement. The sanctions for non-compliance include payment of penalties and interest on old taxes, tax audits and prosecution. Nkiru Mwokedi, AIT News, Lagos.